how the Lord spoke to my heart, and uh, then through the message Dr. North preached tonight, how the Lord spoke to my heart. Go to a lot of meetings. I'm in meetings about all the time. And, uh, I, I go to a lot of camp meetings, and you hear a lot of preaching. Oh, it's a blessing when uh, God can just speak to your heart. If it helps me, and and it don't happen every time, amen? I'm glad the Lord helped me this week, and I appreciate it. There we go. All right, uh, I want to preach a little while tonight by the help of God. Out of uh, Genesis chapter 9, let's read uh, verse number 12, where the Bible said, it, And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you, and ever living creature that is uh, with you for perpetual gener- for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. I want to preach tonight for a few minutes on God put a rainbow in the cloud. Well, there's never been, I like this, uh, this uh, poster up here. I like all these uh, posters. Praise God. There's never been a time when we needed to lift up Jesus any more than right now. Amen. I'll tell you this, uh, uh, this day and hour that we live, we need to lift up that royal banner and uh, we need to make much of Jesus. Amen. Lift him up and exalt him and brag on him and honor him. And uh, he who did so much for me, and uh, you, amen, he did much for us. And I tell you, we're nothing, and he's everything. Amen. amen. Uh, he's my all in all, thank God. Uh, he's my redeemer, my sustainer. He's my Lord in my life, and I can't get along without him. Amen. Uh, it's amazing how this Bible's just packed full of Jesus. I find him on the pages of this book. Amen. He's sweet to my soul tonight. I thank God uh, uh, for this book, and uh, it's all about Him, amen. amen. Every message uh, of every prophet pointed toward the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus is the subject and the theme, uh, and the melody and the music and the medicine and the meat uh, of the Word of God. Uh, you take Jesus out of the Bible, and it ceases uh, uh, to be the Word of God, amen. Uh, I'll tell you, the Bible said, In the beginning uh, was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the, the Word uh, was God. Amen. I hold in my Bible the written Word of God. Uh, but I'll tell you, Jesus uh, is the, in, uh, the living Word of God. Uh, the Bible's the inspired Word. Uh, but He's the incarnate Word. Amen. Uh, this King James Bible is the Word of God in ink. Uh, but uh, He uh, is the Word of God in blood. Amen. Uh, Jesus, He's the author. Uh, he's the song. He's the message. Uh, he's the theme of the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory. And uh, I just like to brag on Him. Yeah. Praise God. He's done so much for me. Hallelujah. Uh, in the text I've read, uh, God's making a covenant with Noah. Noah's not making a covenant with God. Uh, uh, but God's making a covenant with Noah. Amen. Uh, God's the initiator. Uh, uh, Noah's the subject. Uh, and the rainbow is the token of the covenant. Uh, uh, the basis of the covenant uh, uh, is this. God said, uh, I'll never destroy the world uh, with water again. Uh, God will destroy the earth again one day, uh, but not with water. Amen. Uh, but with fire. And the, and the promise of that covenant... Uh, that was sealed with a token. God said, I'll set my bow in the clouds. God was saying, when the lightning flashes and the thunder rolls and the rain falls, don't be afraid. Don't let it get you all shook up. I said, it's not going to happen again. Amen. And he said, to let you know that I mean business, I said, I'm going to put my bow in the cloud. That's a reminder to you of my promise, of my oath, of my covenant. And hallelujah, on this side of Calvary, I'm glad me and God's got a covenant. Amen. I didn't make a deal with God. 
uh, but he made a deal with me. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's called a new covenant. Uh, it's called uh, a grace covenant. Uh, it's called a Jesus covenant. Hallelujah. And the basis of that covenant uh, is that if I will put my faith uh, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, uh, that I'll never, uh, never uh, have to undergo the wrath of God Almighty. I'll never feel the flames of hell and the token, uh, the token of that, uh, the validation of that covenant uh, is our Redeemer, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, God gave us uh, uh, the Lord. Uh, let us seal that covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. People die and go to hell every minute. One day, uh, this old earth's going to stagger like a drunk man. And the moon will drip away in blood. And this whole planet will go down under the judgment of God. But hallelujah, oh my soul, I'll be saved. From the storm of wrath. Saved. From the judgment of God. I'll never see one day a tribulation. Bless God. Because he said. He said he'd save me from that awful hour. Amen. Listen. I'll never see hell. I'll never see the wrath of God. The Bible said much more than. Being justified by, by his blood. Uh, we shall be saved. S-A-V-E-D. Uh, bless God. Uh, we'll be saved uh, from the wrath uh, through Him. Uh, thank God. Uh, the song says uh, the only fire I'll ever feel uh, is burning in my heart. Uh, amen. I'm hell proof. Uh, heaven bound with a hammer down. Uh, thank God I couldn't go to hell if I wanted to. I'm S-A-V-E-D. Glory. I could swing out over a hill on a or over a hell on a rotten corn stalk. Mm. Say I like that word say. S A V E D. Preacher, how do you know you're saved from hell? How do you know you'll never see the tribulation storm that's going to come on this world? How do you know you're saved? From the wrath to come. Because God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. Hallelujah. Yeah. And as long as God cannot lie, yeah. and as long as Jesus Christ is perfect, I'm saved forever. Yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of millions of years from now, drumming, uh, uh, we'll still be a shouting, bless God. Uh, uh, we'll be a running up and down, hallelujah, boulevard. Uh, uh, because God uh, put a rainbow in the clouds, hallelujah. In the Old Testament, God put three things in the, in the sky. He put a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. That was a sign of His divine presence in guiding His people. Thank God, I'm glad His divine presence is with us on this side of Calvary. Amen. He promised, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Now listen, now there may come a time in my life when I get without money. Uh, well, there's a lot of time. Uh, but... Uh, and no fortune, nothing. Uh, uh, there may come a time in my life uh, when my friends, all my friends, uh, both of them, uh, uh, turn their back on me. Uh, there may come a time uh, when my health fails me. Uh, there may come a time uh, when my name is forgotten. Uh, my wife or some uh, health worker may have to uh, attend to me like a little child. Uh, but I want to tell you something tonight. Uh, and I want to tell the devil something. Uh, there will never come a time uh, when I'll be without Jesus that bless God he promised to never leave us nor forsake us amen 31 years ago he moved in his divine presence saved I was uh, was preaching over in Arkansas here some time ago, back in the winter, I guess. 
and Brother Kenny Graham. Many of y'all know Brother Kenny's daddy, Virgil Graham. Brother Virgil was over there in a nursing home with Alzheimer's. And uh, some of us went over. I believe Brother Bobby went over with us that day to see Brother Virgil. And uh, Brother Virgil was, they had restrained him. He couldn't talk hardly. Just mumbled, jumbled words. And as we started to leave, uh, you know, I mean, he, we'd, we'd been trying to talk to him. Bobby tried to talk to him. I tried to talk to him. Dr. Green tried to talk to him several. And just mumbled words. And the jumble words. Uh, but as we started to leave, uh, somebody turned around and asked Brother Graham, said, uh, Brother Graham, are you saved? And the Brother Graham, just as clear as a bell, son, uh, he said, of course I'm saved. Uh, hallelujah. I may forget my name, Brother Gene. Uh, I may, uh, they may roll me in somewhere. Uh, somebody have to wipe a slobber and a drool off my face. They uh, have to feed me like a little baby uh, and change diapers like a little baby. Uh, but bless God, I'm saved forever. Hey man, I'll never see hell. I'll never taste the wrath of God because God moved in 31 years ago. Hell moved out and God moved in and He's been there ever since. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey man. Old songwriter said no. Never alone. Jesus has promised to never. Don't never leave me alone. It ought to be a comfort to you tonight that God has promised to never leave us alone. Amen. God put that cloud in the sky as a token of His divine presence and that pillar of fire at night. But He put something else in the sky. Uh, He put 2,000 years ago that night of wonder when the Lord Jesus was born into this world, I'll tell you, there was a brilliant star uh, that guided the wise men to Jesus. Uh, I'll tell you, there was billions of other stars, no doubt, uh, uh, that were visible that night as those wise men uh, uh, made their way. Uh, But I'll tell you, there was one that was preeminent. Amen. Uh, Listen, I want to say, there's been billions of people born into this whole world, uh, but there was one born, hallelujah, uh, that was preeminent, uh, uh, that stood out, uh, uh, that was separate from the rest, amen. Uh, uh, glory to God on my soul. Uh, uh, he's that bright and morning star, uh, amen. Uh, uh, the one that stood out, uh, uh, the preeminent Christ. Uh, I'll tell you, He's before all things. Uh, uh, by Him all things were created, uh, and all things consist. Uh, and listen, uh, and all uh, that in all things, uh, uh, He might have the preeminence, uh, I'll tell you, he's got the preeminence in creation. He's got the preeminence in regeneration. He's got the preeminence in illumination. He's got the preeminence in inspiration. He's got the preeminence in revelation. And he's got the preeminence in coronation. And bless God, he's the eminent, preeminent one. Amen. Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. That stirs my soul. God put a cloud for divine presence. Put a star, divine prim. But he put that bow, that rainbow, as his divine promise. He said, Noah, I promise you I'll never send another flood like this. He said, I give you my word. And he said, there's a sign Here's a sign of my divine promise. He said, I'm going to put a bow in the cloud. You know how I know I'm saved? He promised he'd save. He promised that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I told Brother Kevin, Brother, uh, Brother, that guy right there, he was uh, talking a while ago about doubting and all that. And you'd be amazed at the people that go through that. Especially people that were saved at an early age. And uh, my son went through that. My son, Shannon. He got saved when he was six years old. And, uh, but uh, boy, he had a time with that. And 
Uh, he, he'd hear that kind of preaching like you're talking about. Some circles, that's real prevalent. Uh, uh, but I'll tell you, it got to bother him one day. Uh, hey, listen, uh, hey, uh, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing I can do. Uh, uh, there's nothing uh, the preacher, nobody else can do about that. Uh, uh, but I'll tell you one day, uh, uh, me and my wife was sitting in the living room uh, and that boy come bouncing out of the, out of the bedroom. Uh, uh, he was a crying and a shouting. Uh, and had his, he was about 14 years old. Uh, had both arms up, uh, uh, waving his Bible. Uh, and he said, Daddy, uh, uh, God showed me in the Bible. Uh, that I saved. I'm telling you, bless God. Uh, Brother Noah, that's the only place. Uh, that's where we get our assurance. Amen. That uh, God promised uh, in the Bible that uh, old Bog uh, put his finger under the verse uh, where God gave him assurance uh, from the Word of God uh, that he was saved. I'll tell you how I know I'm saved. That uh, God promised in this book uh, that he'd save me. I'll tell you how I know I ain't going to hell. That uh, God promised in this book and that it always keep me. Amen. Glory. Jesus is the validation of the promise of God. He gave Jesus to us to seal the promise. And every promise of God is yea in Him. Jesus is our rainbow of promise. God put a rainbow in the cloud for me. Now, a rainbow pictures Jesus in these ways. One, you've got to have two things before you can have a rainbow. You've got to have a storm, and you've got to have sunshine. You can't have a rainbow until you have two things, those two things. And the clouds have got to get dark. Brother Harry, the thunder's got to roll. The lightning's got to flash. Amen. Now, there can't be a rainbow unless there's a disturbance in the heavens. Amen. I'll tell you 2,000 years ago uh, he got under the load of Calvary's cross uh, and he carried it to the top of a hill uh, and there uh, the storm of the wrath of God lashed out against him. Uh, there on Calvary uh, he endured the wrath of man. Uh, the wrath of hell engulfed him. Uh, the wrath of Almighty God was visited upon him. I'll tell you the storm of sin raged and pounded upon him. He was made to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I tell you there is no salvation apart from the cross of Calvary. Now listen there's no joy of sin being washed away apart from Calvary. No peace apart from his cross. No, no joy, no peace with God. I tell you it was a sorrowful day. The sorrow of of Calvary was visited upon him. All the suffering, all the dark of that storm that lashed out upon him. But I'll tell you, a storm by itself can't produce a rainbow. You've got to have sunshine. Hallelujah. Glory. And when the dark storm, when the billowy clouds and storm was rolled away, Early Sunday morning, the sun got to shine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. From the dark domain he arose. Amen. And the S-O-N began to shine. Hallelujah. And when the S-O-N, the sunshine, hit that blood, you know what produces a rainbow? When the rays of sun hit on those drops of water. And when the S-O-N, the Son of God, when He arose, and brother, that sunshine began to shine and reflect off of the blood of the cross. I'll tell you, God that gave us a rainbow. Rainbow, and God put a rainbow in the clouds. Amen. Hallelujah. He lives. He lives. Woo! Uh, he lives. He's alive. Uh, we're not serving a dead Jew, bless God. Uh, we're serving a risen Savior. He got up from the dead. He shook off uh, the chains of death. Uh, he came out of the tomb. Hallelujah. 
I had a fire whistle, I'd blow it. Hey, hey. We got a rainbow redeemer who's the token of God of His promise. He promised sinners He'd save whosoever will. He'll give you the rainbow redeemer after the storm of sin. He's got a rainbow to give you. Hallelujah. Number two, nobody asked God for a rainbow. Noah wasn't sitting around one day and said, now God, what we need here is a rainbow. <laughs> See, Noah never had even thought about it. He hadn't even heard of it. See, the rainbow was not Noah's idea. God took it upon himself, Brother Gene. This wonderful, glorious salvation of God didn't come from man. Man didn't thought it up. It didn't come from some denominational leader. It's of God. Hallelujah. Old Jonah said salvation is of the Lord. This world wasn't looking for Jesus. I'll tell you, uh, uh, when he came the first time, this world wasn't looking for him. And uh, by the way, this world's not looking for him now. Amen. Uh, but I'll tell you, God put, took it upon himself uh, to send us a redeemer. And the Bible said in Galatians 4 and verse 4, uh, when the fullness of time was come, that uh, God sent forth his son, uh, made of a woman, made under the law, uh, to redeem them uh, that are under the law, uh, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Uh, and I'll tell you, when the world was sinking down into hell, uh, when sin had dealt a mighty blow to Adam's race, uh, listen, uh, my friend, when uh, the storm billows uh, of sin roared, I tell you, God that sent His Son into this world. And the Bible said, God that sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. I tell you, He wasn't voted in. He wasn't appointed. And bless God. And God sent Him into this world. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. feel like I would just run about 15 laps. I would if I could hold out. Get buddies run for me. Man, number three, man in all of his ability doesn't have the power to destroy a rainbow. You can look up at the sky when the storm's over and the rainbow's there. You can look up and shake your fist at it and say, hey, I hate you. But he'll still be there. Man didn't make it. Man can't destroy it. He's in heaven tonight. Our rainbow redeemer. You can deny him. You can persecute him. But he's still there. Amen. There's not a demon big enough to get him off the throne. Ain't no man powerful enough to force him off the throne. He can't be done away with. And he can't be destroyed. And then, number four, everybody sees a rainbow the same. Amen. No matter who you are, or where you, where you are when you see a rainbow, you see it just like everybody else sees it. If you're in West Virginia... Or if you're in Michigan, or if you're in Ohio, or California, or North Carolina, it don't matter. The rainbow's the same. Yeah, I want. There's, by the way, there's no such thing as a Michigan rainbow. There's no such thing as an Ohio rainbow or a North Carolina rainbow. No nation, no continent, and no country can claim it for themselves. 
God's only got one kind of rainbow, and it's the same for everybody. And no matter who preaches him or who sings him, when the Holy Ghost reveals him to you, you see him just like everybody else has seen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's high and He's holy. He's lifted up. I was in Dalton, Georgia in the winter of 1965 when the Holy Ghost convicted me and revealed Jesus to me. You might have been in Tennessee or Florida or Kentucky but wherever you were, Harold, you see him just like I saw him. He's the same. That's Harold Riley sitting back there with Tom Cone. I remember the night he got saved. You remember me preaching up here a couple years ago and I told you about that telephone ringing down there in that trailer? About the time we got to praying with Harold, that phone got to ring. He got saved. He saw him the same. Now let me give you this. Both rainbow, both the rainbow and Jesus touches heaven and earth at the same time. A rainbow starts out in glory and touches the earth. I'll tell you, Jesus is the only one I know who can touch God and touch man at the same time. Old Job said one time, he said, oh, if I just had a daisy. If I just had somebody uh, to go between, an advocate, a counselor, uh, somebody uh, who could get a hold of God uh, and uh, get a hold of man uh, and bring them together, a dazed man. Uh, but thank God when Jesus came, uh, uh, He could uh, not only uh, uh, reach God, but He could reach down where we were, amen. Uh, and he, He's our mediator, bless God. Uh, uh, the only mediator between God and man, uh, the man Christ Jesus. I didn't whisper through a knot hole to some knothead. Bless God I had a mediator. Amen. He represented me at the throne of mercy. And then uh, you won't find where God ever threatened. To take the rainbow away. God didn't say, now Noah, if you don't do right, buddy, I'll take that rainbow back. I'll yank it right back out there. Oh, no. Noah, you better do right, or I'll yank that thing out from there. Nope. Hmm. God said in our text that it would be a perpetual, for a perpetual generation. That means forever and ever. And ever and ever. And on and on. Never, never quit. God never ever meant to take it back. It wasn't long after that old Noah messed up. Got drunk, went naked. You know what? I saw a rainbow the other day. <laughs> Since then, Abraham lied. Peter cussed. Demons quit. <laughs> I saw a rainbow the other day. night I came to God, he didn't say, I'll save you if. He, he, he's never threatened uh, to take him away. And if God ever gives Jesus to you in salvation, friend, uh, uh, he'll never take him back. He's yours and you're his. Uh, uh, thank God. Uh, and it's forever. Amen. And then, let me close with this. No one ever sees a complete rainbow while on planet earth. A few astronauts and a few pilots 
have said that they've seen a complete rainbow when they got 40 degrees above the horizon. But while their feet is on planet Earth, they've not seen a complete rainbow. Most have never seen a half rainbow, just a glimpse. After the queen of Sheba came to Solomon, and after she had seen his glory in the pond, she said, I've heard. And she said, the half has never been told. I'll tell you, there's one greater than Solomon, Brother Willie. And I've heard of him, and I've seen glimpses of him, now, but I'll tell you, I'll have to say with the Queen of Sheba, now, the half has never been told, amen. Now, but over in Revelation chapter 4, uh, John heard that voice, uh, and he said, come up hither. Uh, and he said, I saw a throne, uh, and round about the throne uh, there was a rainbow, amen. Uh, he saw the whole thing, hallelujah. Uh, I'll tell you, we'll never see all there is to know about it. We'll never know all there is. We'll never see all there is to see about him. Uh, uh, but when the trumpet sounds, hallelujah, uh, when we leave this earth for glory, uh, uh, we'll see him as he is, bless God. Uh, we'll see the king in all of his view. The rainbow is best seen when the sun rises above the horizon 40 degrees in the morning time. Some golden daybreak, boy, just over the horizon, we'll see him. The sun is coming up in the morning. The colors of the rainbow are Purple and blue and green and yellow and orange and red. Purple is the color of the king. Blue is the color of the heavens. Green is the color of everlasting life. Yellow is a picture of the light of the world. Orange is a warning color, a warning sign. Red is the color of the blood. He's the king. He's from heaven. Amen. He alone gives eternal life. He's the light of the world. He's God's warning to this hell-bound world. He shed His blood to save us. God put a rainbow.